Hey, this is Omero, and this is episode one of Omero's journey. In this episode, I want to give a brief introduction to the video series, and I want to talk about personas mainly, personas and personality. All right, for the video series Omero's journey, I kind of just wanted to have. A uh, series where I could talk about any sort of ideas that I have in general, you know, so they don't have to be restricted about like a topic or gameplay or anything. They could just they they just are like general ideas that I have, and some of them sort of show my way of thinking of things, and some of them are just kind of like ideas, and they're not meant to be fully fleshed out or anything. But they're just meant to be like a single entry to an idea. So I might revisit, for example, a topic more than once later on with the video. Um, but yeah, and the main reason why I wanted to make this video series was because I think it was around like the last week of August, first week of September. I realized that. Sometimes it was kind of difficult for me to show parts of my personality, and this is where this is around the time too where I started to think more about personas and the idea behind like different personas to a single personality. So I guess this will just transition onto the actual topic, which is personas. Um, so I'll start by explaining it. Or at least explaining my idea of personas. So for me, what it basically is is everyone has their personality, their own personality, and there's like personality traits. There's there's a combination of things about you, right, that make you who you are. That's like personality as a whole, right? But the idea behind personas is that you take specific personalities traits like specific things about your personality and you combine them in a way to make a persona to make like a bit of an act but it's not an act it's just sort of specific parts of your personality put into one side of you and so people will have different personas but they'll have like one personality right but basically, we all have like different personas, different sides to us that we show. You know, like sometimes we act a certain way, and then sometimes, depending on the situation, depending on the people we're around, we might act a different way. So, for example, when you're around friends, or versus when you're around family, versus when you meet new people, or for example, when you're outside compared to when you're indoors talking to people online and then also online with those three categories um, of like new people, family, friends, like you realize that you start to act differently depending on the situation and depending on who you're with. So for example, for me, when I'm meeting new people, sometimes I'll be super quiet or sometimes I'll be like the complete opposite. Sometimes I'll talk a lot and try and be hyphy and like try and show a good side to me. But I think most of the time, especially when I'm meeting new people, I'll be mostly quiet. And I'm quiet in general, so like, but it's even worse when I meet new people sometimes. Because for me, it kind of just like takes time for me to get used to the situation, like getting more comfortable around the person, you know. And I think this kind of has to do with me being like more on the observant side, more on the like observant analytical side. So I kind of like um, a lot of times I just sort of don't like to dive like straight in, you know, I don't like to do things with people right away. But instead, I like to sort of analyze things more slowly. But yeah. Um, and I think especially when you think about people, how they act online and then how they act like outside in real life, 
for a lot of people, it's very different. I think for everyone, it's different. But for some people, there's a huge difference between their online persona and how they are in real life. You know? Um, and for me, it feels like there's like six different online personas, you know, t six different sides to me. Uh, and this, for example, is one of them. I'd say this is more like the base form or the base persona because I think for all the different personas, we all have like a base one that is like the closest one or the one that mixes parts of our personality the best. You know, the, the one, there's this one persona that is like the base persona where you try and combine as many personality traits as you have and then you combine them the best way possible out of all your personas. Um, so yeah, so like it keeps the most most of your personality traits from your personality itself and then also it combines them well. And some personas are more deliberately crafted than others. Um, some of them come out more natural and unintentionally. Whereas to others, it feels like you have more of a say into how the persona is formed, how it's like structured, how it's engineered. You know, like some of those personas, it feels easy to add things to, add parts of your personality to, or slightly change. Whereas the other personas sort of seem to come out more natural, uh, which isn't necessarily a good thing, but it just means like you have less control over them. They're just sort of formed on their own and they kind of come out instead of you like having more of a say whether you want to show that persona it's more like some of the personas kind of come out on their own if the like situation shows up um so for example for me <clears throat> i'm trying to think of some examples but the only thing i can think of right now is like for example if i don't know if i'm feeling some <laughs> So for example, for me, sometimes if I'm hanging out with like a girl or if I'm feeling some type of way, like like a specific persona will come out and my voice might get higher than it normally is, you know, like I might go like up a few octaves or up and down depending on like if I get high fear or not. But um, when I speak more seriously, I think my voice is a lot lower, more like normal. But if I hang out with like a girl sometimes, like it might go really high. And maybe I'll like speak a lot or maybe I, I won't. But like the general idea is that that one's more like it, it more like comes out of me rather than me like having more of a say into saying like, OK, I want this to come out. It's more like I'm just talking and then all of a sudden my voice goes really high and then everything kind of flows but within that persona and the thing is like getting out of it or trying to show other personality traits that don't like aren't part of that persona is kind of difficult and around two months ago two three months ago i decided that i wanted to like change some of my personas because i wanted them to like better reflect my actual personality um Another example would be back when I made YouTube videos like 10 years ago or I don't know how long it was, but like 10, 13 years ago. No, it wasn't that long. It was like 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, it was even shorter, I think, because I think I made some in like 2010 through like 2013. So that's like seven years ago, six to six to nine years ago. I'll just average it out. I'll say like seven years ago when I made videos back then, like. People look back sometimes on those videos, right? Like people that visit my channel nowadays, they sometimes go back on my Call of Duty videos or they'll somehow like have it, you know, they'll be watching one of my videos or they'll check out my channel and they'll end up in the, like one of the Call of Duty videos. And people will come up to me and they'll be like, wait, where's that, like, Omero? Where's that part of you? What, like, what happened? Like, this is literally the main reactions. We like, they'll just watch the videos and then they'll be like, wait. Omero, like, what happened? Like, <laughs> why are you so different now? And part of it was that my personality changed, but another big part of it is that 
I decided like deliberately that I wanted to be like hyphy and kind of like the other YouTube commentators that made Call of Duty videos. You know, I wanted to be um, hyphy, energetic, um, and sometimes I ended up repeating myself a lot, whereas to now I guess I'm more slower paced and it might take longer to get a point across, but there's less like repeating myself, I think, than back then. Um, but yeah, the idea is just like a lot of that was me deliberately wanting to act or deliberately wanting that to be my YouTube persona. Um, and specifically, you could notice it because it was only like a 10 15 minute thing, you know, like being that energetic and talking that much like it's hard to keep up i'd say for like a long period of time or like a longer period of time but if you if you just sort of did it as like a 7 10 12 minute thing like it was definitely doable and obviously it like worked and it like it showed a part of you like that was still me right that was still a side of me that was still a part of me but it wasn't super close to my actual personality like i think it was because back then i was a lot more like energetic and hyphy and i made a lot more jokes maybe i think now i still make more jokes but i'm more like calm about them where i'm more like subtle about the jokes i make and people laugh but like um yeah i'm just more subtle about when i make jokes uh and sometimes too like i think i mentioned this in episode two or three i don't remember which one but I think I mentioned in somewhere in those videos that sometimes I like people tell me or people get the notion that like I don't know when I'm being funny or like I don't even know that I'm making people laugh or that I'm or like they're like, oh, you're really funny without trying to be funny. But like I do try like um, it is like a conscious thing. You know, it's just that I like play it off as like a, a calm thing, like a subtle thing. Uh, but yeah, so I think like that YouTube persona like seven years ago from those videos like it's still me But like it, it it's very crafted, you know, it's very like handcrafted like by me uh, And I guess that's one of the examples where you can see like a persona um, But yeah, I think just in general a lot of times I look back on decisions I made like two three months ago or any like or in other situations and I look back and I think of it sort of like a multiple choice type thing even in the moment a lot of times when I'm talking with people it feels like it's a multiple choice type thing where I have like three four different ways I can think of handling the situation or three or four different things to say or three four different ways to go about like a discussion a conversation or the way I act and sometimes because I'm so into a persona I'll end up choosing one of those like multiple choice options and then later on like a couple minutes or an hour in a day I'll look back on it and I'll be like wait like if I thought about it a little bit more or if I was more serious about it I probably would have chosen another option a different option um, and sometimes like I'll regret stuff like that and I'll be like, why was I so like why was I trying to protect this image of myself? You know. And I think overall, like most of most of the time I'm online in general, I've been the past couple of years, I've been like very protective of like the image that I have, you know. If I have this sort of image of Omero or whatever online image, whatever online persona you have of yourself, like I was very protective of it, whereas to now, I think like the past couple months, I care a lot less about having like this protective, perfect, ideal Omero. Because I realized that, for one, it's not very relatable to people, and the second thing is that sometimes people might not take you seriously, because they won't have too many of those like serious conversations with you and that's not to say that like you have to be serious all the time or anything because like i still i think most of the time like i meme a lot and i still like joke around and everything but i think just having more of that real life 
relatability helps a lot you know where it's like you're not just discussing uh like meaningless things but you're also incorporating like real life discussions into it even when you're online because obviously like online when you play with friends and when you play with people you try and keep it more like um about the game or whatever activity you're doing whatever game you're playing you try and just keep it more online but if you get closer to the person you can like incorporate more of those real life conversations i think that's how it is at least for most people um but yeah and i think part of the reason why i wanted to talk about personas too and make the whole video series and everything is because Sometimes it feels like I think I'm getting close to people or I think I'm like becoming good good friends with them and I think obviously there's a difference between like becoming good friends with someone and getting close to them but sometimes I think I might get the two mixed up where like uh hang out with them a lot and they'll hang out a lot with me and we'll talk a lot but I guess the connection isn't like super deep or anything and we might not talk about super serious things and so in that sense, it won't be close. And I'm not talking about recently, but like I said, like two, three months ago, where I thought I was missing like some of that closeness slash relatability factor. Where like, even if you hang out with them a lot, it doesn't mean like you connect with them well or well enough to be considered like a close type of friendship or relationship between the two people so yeah i basically just try to be less protective of the omero idea that i have or that i had like three months ago and that i wanted people to keep having you know and i tried to make it like a little bit more relatable i think uh but yeah um I think that's going to be it for now because the video is kind of dragging out long and I still have to edit this thing because there's a lot of like um, cuts in between or tangents and everything um, so I don't know exactly how long it'll be but I think that'll be it for now for personas or like today's entry I guess today's Omero's journey entry because I'll probably end up revisiting the topic and I'm pretty sure I will because I've thought about this whole personas thing a lot, but right now I don't have it like completely formulated um, in the perfect way that I want to put it. But this is just how I put it, or how I wanted to put it today. So I'll probably come back to this idea later on in a different episode. Um, and yeah, the next two episodes are already recorded because I recorded them like a while back somewhere in September but I didn't have this introductory video which I wanted it to be about personas because I thought that would like be a good segue into the other two and I kind of wanted to have these three videos as a base for the next videos which I think the future videos aside from these three will be a lot more lighthearted or like easier to listen to I'm not sure but I think the ideas are like less, um, I don't know, like loaded, like less, um, they'll be easier to digest, I think, you know, the the future ideas, or the future topics that I have in mind, and I might right now, I'll, I think I'll put up like a notepad or something, a screenshot of the notepad I have, with the ideas that I came up with, or the things that I know I want to talk about, it's just I haven't gotten down to record them, but yeah um and the gameplay there might be like a difference in sync because i might start off with gameplay that was recorded a while back but this video is being recorded in right now it's november 20th and i don't know when it'll come out but right now it's november 20th um and yeah there might be like a slight desync between the gameplay and the voice recording but it's Minecraft, so it doesn't matter. You know, it's just like free roam Minecraft. It, it's it, it's just to have something to look at, you know. I could have whatever game it is that is like easy to digest as long as it's something that could keep the viewer entertained. 
because that's the whole purpose of the gameplay. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, also, wait, I, <laughs> I have to clarify, like, I don't... The next two videos, I... I but yeah. And last thing on those two, next two videos, they're more of like a backstory, so they're meant to be like uh, building blocks, like uh, like the baseline for the video series. They're not my favorite ideas to discuss. They're not like I, I don't really personally. I didn't really like the videos too much. The, um, the next two episodes, I didn't like them too much, but I thought there'd be they would be like a really good foundation uh, for the future videos. But yeah, I just think overall, other episodes aside from these first three might be a little easier to watch, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I might continue streaming on Twitch because I kind of just wanted to get these videos out the way. Um, but yeah, just follow me on Twitch if you want to watch League of Legends gameplay. I might stream sometime. I mean, I will stream, but like I don't know when. <laughs> Um, so yeah, just hit follow on Twitch if you want to watch League gameplay. And yeah, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.